Hi everyone, my name is Maria Merkovich, your host for Family Today. Today's show is about children and um, the topic is what is your purpose in your life? When you ask children, they have awesome answers. And here with me is Mila. Hi Mila, how are you? Hi Maria, how are you? Oh good, thank you, thank you so much. I've heard so much about you. I know that you are singing, you go to school. And how old are you again? Five and a half. You're five and a half. And your purpose in life, what would it look like when you grow up? What does it look like in your mind's eye? Like, like be a basketball, basketball player. Basketball player is one. Then artist too. Like when you like draw in the school. Sure. When you like get into school. Yes. And then I'll be a, a playing instruments like in the school because I I, I had music class today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted I played instruments. Is it could it be a things. piano? Could it be a piano the instrument or all instruments? Which which it could instrument? be any instrument. But what a is drum or guitar, right? But what is in your heart the most for now? And then it changes throughout uh, the years. Really like like you know, like, like, um, drums. guitars or drums, whatever. I don't know. What and you to have do. a piano at home. Oh uh, yeah. Yes, and you you're practicing that now without even a teacher. Are you thinking of taking classes? No, I never take classes. But are you thinking of uh, taking classes? No, not really. Okay. So you said basketball. You know, you are tall for for a yeah. five year old. Yeah. You're very tall, right? I do basketball so, at home. Okay, so who teaches you, your dad? Yeah, but I don't have to dribble that when I was three mm -hmm. and four, I didn't have to dribble. That's mm -hmm. the only time I played basketball with that old five. And at school, I was like dribbling like this. So let me ask you, you always talked about, and I heard people say that you, that you always sang in front of people, and that is really your passion in life. You love to sing. I and, know. And did, yes, you do. And don't you emulate somebody? I think it was, you know, who is it? Uh, like who? Uh, I, once you mentioned to me Taylor Swift, is that true? Yes, I like Taylor Swift song and some, I like Maroon 5, right? Yes. Like, let me, let me tell you something like, I got that song in my pocket and don't you love my, I like those songs, kind of like shut mm -hmm. up and dance with me, right? Yes, shut up and dance with me, yes. Uh-huh. So, do you think that when you grow up, once you're out there singing, you want to teach that to the classes too? Like the, in school? Yeah, in the school. Sure. I want to be an artist and play music in the school, right? In the school, of yeah. course, yes. Because whatever you love to do, you would like to teach to others. Is that true? Yeah, kind of. Yes. So what are your dreams? What are your most exciting dreams for now? I mean, you're... What do you're... I want to be when I'm grown up? Yes, and even now. Even yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Um, sometimes... Um, sometimes I play music. I play a guitar at home because I have a guitar. Mm -hmm. I sit to do something. Mm -hmm. And one, I feel like playing music. I feel like playing drums and a guitar. Mm -hmm. Like that. And stuff. You did say that already. So, yeah, because so I, what are your steps towards that? I, mean, I play drums and guitars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you never so, play the drums. So what what do you what do you want to do now? Do you want to take lessons? Do you want to find a teacher that's going to help you do that? Or oh, I'm 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 good with drums and guitar. I'm good at that. You are, but you do need a little bit of um, training and practice. That's it. Yeah. Yes. So your big dream is to do that. Do you think your dream is gonna uh, be different while when you are maybe uh, thirteen? Yes. Yeah. Like when I'm 10, right? Right. Or 11 or 12 or 13. <laughs> yes. Do you think it's going to change? Or for now, this is the way it is, the way you I see it? I think it's going to change. I forget. Okay. Now, I wanted to ask you for another thing now. Um, you are a big animal lover, right? And for yes. instance, you love your own dog, right? Let me tell you what animals I like. Which ones? Um, I like dogs. I yes. like bunny rabbits. I like 
pages. Maybe you can address the audiences out there. Go ahead. I like dogs. I like bunny rabbits. I like strangers. I like cats. And I like one more. So what is your favorite one? I know you don't love them uh, the same. Yeah. But I have a lot. Mm -hmm. a lot. So tell me a little bit about your dog when he died, your old dog. Now you have a brand new puppy. Well, he's not a puppy anymore, as I understand. Yeah. He's um, a year old. Um, my, my, Keto. Keto yeah, died. Keto, Keto died. I was like crying, right? Yes. Because I missed him so much. Yes. Now he, he's in a different country. He's in a different country? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so that's a different country? Yeah. Why do you say country? Because I forget he's a different country. You remember You mean home. another planet? Yes. Yeah. It could, he could be living in another planet now. Yeah. So for you to explain that, you said in another country. Yeah. Yes. So it is almost like another country. Yeah. Do you think, do you communicate with him? Like who? Kiko? Yes. Yeah. How? How do you communicate? Um, because I love him so much, right? Yes. Um, do you know like how the feeling the feeling. Yeah, the feeling. In the heart? Yeah. Yes. The feeling in the heart. And then when I first like like when he first like died, right? Yes. I feel like so sad to like like crying, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and did you pray for him? Did you did you oh, talk to I him? Wish I I'll say I wanna wish it I could have the keto back. Yes. And one time when I went to bed um, my sister, yes, her name is Sage. Sage. She was like crying for Tito, and then uh -huh. we like put a picture of him with like a princess, and I have a frozen one with you, Barbara, Gina. It's not my mom, and that's your child. And <laughs> when, I was, when I was a baby. Yes, 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 yes. So you have a lot of love. You have an open yeah. heart. Yes. And, and you're very intelligent for your age, too. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, you are. Would you like to tell the audiences anything? You know, maybe maybe other audiences like yourself age the same as you are. Like, what do you mean, like, age? Age, meaning that you're five years old. Yeah, and five. You're very five, five and five. a half. Five and a half, of course. And I'm very tall, yeah. Yes, of course. And, and kids are taller than so me. So what would you recommend to other kids your age? to do for, let's say, for their life's purpose, what they want to do in yeah. their life ahead. Yeah. My sister's seven years old, and I, I told you her name is Sage. Sage, right? yes, yes. She's seven years old, so I'm way more farther than her because she's not like any pennies or quarters. Right. And I'm five and a half, so she... I, when I, it's my birthday in spring, right? Right. No, in winter. It's in April, um, yes. That's um, winter. April. Um, I'm going to turn six, and then I'm not going to be far away from my sister anymore. Okay, and because you I feel know. you're too far away from her? Yeah, I, I'm this. But you have one, one, one bite away. One bite away. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Because so, so I what would you like to say to other kids I'm out there? I'm only like one way. What would you, Mila? What would you like to tell us? Uh, now is part two. Uh, this is the last question that we need to ask Mila on your life's purpose. What would you recommend, Mila, to the people out there, children your age and parents, when they want to do something that they love? What would you say to them? Look at the Open camera. Open your heart. Open your heart.